Oh, I missed some other tips too. Snebig! Thank you very much, Mr. Snebig, with the 10 to the mods. And Animandir with the 10 to the mods too. Way to nuke the bots mod team as well. Thank you both for your support of the team. Really appreciate it, guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's your... Well, I was going to say, what's your blood type? Your blood type is dead. So... His blood type is F. Blood type on the ground. <laughs> That's exactly right. I think I think that sounds good. on the ground. Hey Duke Line, how are you, bud? What's with the icons and the blood type at the bottom of the screen? Oh! Oh. Um Another tip at 308. Aha. Okay. Another quick tip for you. So in this game, you have three resource pools. You have your health, you have your cooldowns, and you have your blood. Um, now, I wouldn't normally call cooldowns a resource, but they do use the cooldown mechanic in lieu of like a stamina or a mana or energy or things like that. So I would count it for now. Um, now, the reason I'm saying this is because the blood one is very important and it works differently from how it would work normally in, in like a, a, a standard RPG. So your blood is, is broken into two things, the percentage and the type. And what those two add up to do is essentially be a passive class for your character. Now, what do I mean by passive class? Every blood type does something better. So a rogue has movement speed and crit. A worker gives you more items and the chance to instantly harvest nodes. A warrior makes you stronger in melee. A scholar makes you a better spellcaster. And then the percentage gets you extra bonuses. So this is a blood called Draculin, which is new. As you can see, the blood quality is only 46%. So we're only getting those two, a little, a little bit of the two top options. But as you get higher percentages in blood, you get more and more and more benefits. And if you happen to find the coveted 100% blood, then you get that final thing down there, which means the entire bloodline is hugely better. And also the ability above it usually gives that blood type some kind of special thing. So if we had 100% Draculin, our bite, we would have one additional charge. And every time we bite, it would heal us for 5%, which is crazy. So it's really good to know not only what blood type what blood types do, but also what they're good at. Because eventually you're gonna be finding high percent blood types. You're gonna be jailing those individuals and you're gonna be draining their blood into bottles so you can have the blood class that you want whenever you want it. So again, blood system, very important. Understanding how it works, very important. And utilizing it properly can be the difference between doing really well and being really strong in fights and harvesting tons of resources when you go out or completely ignoring all those amazing benefits. Anyway, hope that helps. Okay, there we go. Another another little uh, blood type tip there. We're making a tip video for this, can you tell? And um, some uh, we have a, a YouTube team that's like gonna go over all the VODs and make it. I'm very interested to see how this video is gonna turn out, knowing exactly what we're putting into it. We'll play the video on stream when it's out, for those that are wondering. And uh, yeah, we'll check it out, see how it is. I can't wait to hear your feedback on it. We should call the video just the tips. I like it. It's good. Yep. Alec. Yep. Big fan of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Boop. All right. Oh lord. Uh, let's do this. We need to get some extra blood anyway. Skadoosh. All right, gonna grab all this. How are we doing inventory? Uh, 
Eh, getting close. Those are perfect. Those are really good. Those are really good. We unfortunately don't have enough resources yet to, to really do all that stuff, but... It sounds like it's kind of interesting because the game is taking us... The game is taking us, like, over here, but we need the stuff up here. So I'm, I'm not sure, like... I, do, I don't want to... I don't want to skip tiers, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah? Nice, Rhinostiff. Very nice. Yeah, Leandra's tough. Leandra's tough. Yeah, the more the more I have played this game, the more I have fundamentally realized that, that like, the longer I play it, the more I understand how this game works and the easier and more intuitive and more fun it is. No question. I was definitely struggling a little bit at the beginning on this difficulty because I, I was playing the game incorrectly, to put it bluntly. So it is working so much better now. Oh my god! How did I not think to make that a tip? Dude, that is like the ultimate tip. Okay. Hold on. That is the actual ultimate tip. Oh, really, Nettie Ang? Uh, let me fix that. Thank you. That's great feedback. Apparently the puppy cam is messing with Kovatar. I need to zoom that in, don't I? that out in a second. Okay, here we go. Um, um, all right. Now, this tip for me was one of the most important tips for my enjoyment of this game on Solo Brutal. And let me, let me again preface this by saying this was a me thing, but I have a feeling that a lot of you are going to fall into the same thing, especially if you play on harder difficulty. So I'm going to, I'm going to give you this tip for you to think about. I play a lot of video games, and I play a lot of video games that are similar in some styles to this. In the large, large majority of those video games, and I'm talking even games like Souls Likes, your dodge always works when you hit it, and you plan your gameplay around that happening. So anytime something happens that's even slightly close to your character, you dodge it, right? That's Elden Ring. That's Dark Souls. That's most ARPGs that have a dodge. Now, here's the thing. If you play this game like that, you will get destroyed. If you play this game where every time you're slightly concerned about even possibly getting hit, you dodge, you will get destroyed. And let me tell you why. This game does not function like those other games. This game is more tactical and this game uses its cooldowns as a resource instead of like a stamina bar or anything. What that means is that generally, especially on your dodge, the cooldowns are much higher. So when you dodge in this game, you get an eight second cooldown. Now think if you were playing Dark Souls and you could only dodge once every eight seconds, you would go, that's impossible. I would get, I would dodge one hit, and by the time eight seconds is up, there'd be like three other hits I'd have to dodge and I would just get hit by all three of them. Exactly. And that's what's gonna happen in this game if you try to do that. So what do I mean by this? What is the point of this tip? The point of this tip is do not treat this game as a spammy dodge action game. Treat this game as a tactical, slow, put distance between you and your enemies, and most importantly, only dodge when you need to. Only dodge when you need to. And on top of that, strongly utilize weapon movement skills. There are weapons like the pistol that one of their moves moves your character. So when I hit T, I did that little roll. Well, that little roll will take me out of an AOE. That's huge. Spear also has a similar move. Sword does as well. Very important. Um, on top of that, there are many counter skills. Now the downside of a counter skill is that means you're not spamming like a damage or utility skill. But if you're like me and you have problems with a dodge cooldown, a counter skill may be exactly what you need to win those fights. I know players on the hardest difficulty that their boss fights last a really long time, but they use two counter skills and they're really good with them. 
So even though their boss fights last about two to three lo times longer than mine, they're easily controlling their fights while I am having grit pulled to the death like slug fests and almost dying every time. So that's my, that's my, the big point of this tip is slow it down. Do not spam your abilities. Tactically use each one and you will have so much more success in this game. Good luck. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right. I feel like I feel like that's probably one of the biggest tips I could give to anyone playing, especially solo brutal. Like, yeah, that that was that changed the game for me. Completely changed the game. Ricky says, "Thanks, dad. You're welcome, Ricky. I'm proud of you, son." You keep doing exactly what you're doing. As long as you're not murdering. Don't murder. But as long as you're not murdering, you keep doing exactly what you're doing and I'm proud of you. Or drugs. I'm not proud of your drug use. But I'm proud of everything else. Sans murder. <clears throat> yep. Good talk. Uh, I think... Let's see how much we have here. This Dude, this feels so good doing this. Oh my god. Just watching everything go in its perfect little place. Oh, oh, feels so good. Um, let's do... I, we're gonna have to have, like, T1, T2, T3. How are we gonna do this? Uh, let's put this in here. Beautiful. I love the no storage units. Yeah. Yeah. Is melee not a thing in this game, or is it bad? I always see people use bows. Melee is incredibly strong, but... Because of the way that the dodge and cooldown system work, it is it is far more risky. Um, when you're playing solo, this game is kind of designed for small group play. So when you're playing solo, putting distance between you and your target uh, is incredibly advantageous. Um, but no, you you do not need no no no. You absolutely do not need to use a ranged weapon. No, no, you do not need to. All right, how many of these did we get? And I frequently also will switch to non-range weapons. Oh, I think we're, we're just under how much we need, aren't we? Oh, oh God. No, never mind. I take everything back. So we're going to get critical strikes, leech, 5% health. Um, I'm going to get this just because my current, I think my current ring deals that. Yeah, my current ring deals weaken. So we're just, we're just going to get that for that currently. I'm not really using any, I guess we'll just get this for the 5%. All right, cool. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, we also need to make the new bag. Thank you. Great call chat. We'll also get some blood while we're here. Uh, let's see exactly what the bag requires. We are here for that? Yo, Alucard stuff. Nice. Hmm. Ooh. Not here. Uh, where are bags, chat? Where do we do bags? How important are servant missions? Server missions are pretty freaking great. Um, yeah. So, like, right now, for instance, I need a bunch of wood. Crazy. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my throne. Where, where did I put my throne? I lost my throne, chat. Oh, I think it's over here. There it is. Oh, yeah, we're going to make this a throne room. That's right. Uh, but what we're going to do is uh, these missions are great when you need to, like, send people out on missions. Uh, or, excuse me, when you need to get, like, a bunch of low-tier resources. So, like, for instance, um, if I needed copper, but I didn't want to spend 45 minutes going out and getting a bunch, I could just send my guys down to get it. There's also a logging camp here, so I need a bunch of wood, because I'm obviously not anywhere near done with my wood stuff. So I'm going to send Nuriel down here. Um, it's only it's going to be done in eight hours, and we're going to get, like, almost 2,000 wood. And aerial loot and thread and all sorts of fun stuff, so... And then we're going to send our other guys here. That'd be Barry, Carlion, and Suzu. And we're going to give them all the chances they can get. And this is going to take them a long time, but they're going to come back with 4,400 copper. 
So and now granted, it is important to mention that on my solo server, I have turned up some of these rewards. So uh, if you were playing on a default, that would be more like a thousand copper, which is still a huge amount. Don't get me wrong. It's still a huge amount, but it's, it's going to be a little different for you. Uh, hey, Ko, I saw you were pretty jazzed about the scythe a few days ago. I haven't seen you use it. Is there something unexpected about the mechanic? Uh, not really. I just, I didn't really feel it as much as I thought. I, I like the, uh, the pistols and I like the bow a lot better too. So yeah, not, not really. Ah! Gonna do a quick harvest here. All right, did we get any seeds? Nope, up, oh, yes. Ooh, two sunflower seeds. Damn, dude. Hell yeah. Um. There we go. Perfect. Leatherworking bench for bag. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I was going to check this. Hold on one sec, chat. Uh, do I have a lodge? Oh, I do. Wait one sec, chat. Somebody said, can you zoom in the pupper's cam? Let me see. Does gardening in the game require water and sunlight? Just sunlight. You, you, can't, you can't do stuff in the game. It has to be... Oh god, what is that? What just happened? Uh All right, chat, I think I just broke it. <laughs> chat. Did that fix it? What happened? Image settings. Oh, time out, time out, time out, time out. We're gonna get this working, chat. We're gonna fix this. I can fix this. Maybe. Did I make it black and white? How do I how do I even do that? I somehow made this ish black and white. Oh. Oh uh, no. Dude, this camera's hosed. Hold on. Okay. We get it? Sort of? Trying not to wake him up, chat. I was trying not to wake him up. Oh, we got him. Okay. You can just go, you can just chill on my lap for now. But we'll worry about the camera later. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, I think, I think that'll work. So what we'll do is we'll do it like, uh, like this in the future. Hold on. I lost it. Never mind, it's gone. We're about it later. Oh, found it. Okay, so we'll put it like there. Great, and then we'll put him in the center. Think that'll work, chat? Enhance, enhance. By the way, this is a charity goal. That's the only reason I'm doing this. If you're like, why is this old guy dealing with this little dog on the screen? A charity goal. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's do it. So, uh, we're going to go up to the leatherworking bench. We're going to check that real quick. 
Leatherworking is still tailoring? Or is that in here? There's workbench and smithy. Do we even... Or is it forge? There's woodworking. Where in the heck is our leatherworking bench? Do we... It's in the tannery? Hmm. Did Co say, uh, did Co finish Stellar Blade? No, no. Rise of the Ronin and Stellar Blade are kind of my, the two games I'd like to beat at some point. Oh, we need oil too. Uh, let's go get our oil. While this is while this is being made. is that is that is other working tailoring? Yeah, it is. So we gotta somehow jam it in there. <laughs> Joe wants to beat Stellar boobs. I do, very much so. Wait, Stellar what? That Stellar what now? Um. Okay, we're good there. Check the oil. The paper press is a godsend? Yeah, I'm trying to get library stuff first. I'm trying to get library stuff. Library flooring before I really go too hard into it. There it is. Ooh, we got a lot of fish. Let's let's only bring up 200 for now. Um, Let's go clear this. Is Code with Hades 2EA for now? Nope. Ooh. Yo! Oh, we don't have gloves! Dang it! I need another set. But I guess it was not meant to be. Balls. Remember, 64 silver coins and the human book merchant. Yeah, we need to we need to get more silver, man. We need to get. I, I might like consider going up and hitting one of those silver mines. Just thinking about that. Might have to do it, chat. Might have to do it. Oh, oops. All right, chat, let's head up, build this leatherworking bench, and uh, go from there. Don't forget to talk about the bronze coin thingy with the tools that the one chatter talked about. Uh, I haven't done that yet, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do a, a thing for that yet because I don't I don't know how that works. Thank you for the reminder. Thick leather and wool thread. So I would need let's see. Two hundred and fifty oil for three thousand thick leather. Um Okay. Okay. 2,400 for how much we got. We'll just throw that in, I think. Let's get that that producing. Is that going to keep producing thick leather? No. Alright, we're going to let that cook for a minute. How many of these do we need? Nine. Okay, we still need to get the wool thread. What about grinding the wood in the east side for oil? Oh, we absolutely could. Yep. Like, we can go over here, and we can cut down the trees. 
And apparently we get, when we do that, we get a wood that we can turn into oil or something. Let's see. What exactly is it? It's this. A sturdy type of wood with an oily core. Okay. Do I have any thick leather? Did we get a puppy cam? We did. Got a little Fenrir cam up there. As was mandated by our charity stream. A hey, major nonsense. Nice, buddy. Saw that from earlier. Thanks for popping your Kovatar, dude. Oh, hell yes. 26 max health? That's cool. Co, you can buy the lumberjack axes and minor hammers with copper coins from merchants and put them in the merch, the munch box to get silver coins. Let's try that right now. Let's go try that right now. That's not, and here's the thing. That's a great tip, but the whole point of the tip video is beginner tips and like silver's T2. So I, I'm not really like, don't, I don't know if we'll do that. We'll see though. Oh, actually, before we go, um, let's go ahead and throw this stuff back where it was. Get that all producing. Hey, Karn. How are you, bud? Is Dimitri jealous that he doesn't have a cat cam? Oh, he used to. But I'd say little man's just fine. Mm. He just he, It's funny. Right as you said that, he just like walked over and meowed next to me. Hey, bud. How are you? Boop. Oh, you going down? Okay. We'll see you later, buddy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, fish bone. Okay. Need more fish bones. All right. We can do that. Uh, okay, let's throw this in the, what is this, the sawmill? Now, how much oil do we get per? Is it just oil or? Oh, oh, but it takes 30 of them. So for every 30 of them, we get four planks and one oil. But that's still good. I mean, if we're going to get, if we're going to get wood, we might as well get it from there. I wonder if we can send our guys on missions over 